Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on solving a two-step equation where the solution is a positive integer. And by integer, I just mean a whole number. Now we've got these equations here and they're called equations because we have an equal symbol in each. And to solve this equation just means we want to find the value of x. So what this means is that two times some number x, we don't know what it is, plus three gives you 13. Now the one thing you need to remember for this video is that whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other. Because an equation is like a sort of scales. Because if you take something off one side of the scales, you have to take something off the other side of the scales to make them balance. And the other thing you need to think about is undoing the last thing done to the variable. So I'll explain what I mean by this. Undo the last thing done to the variable. And by the variable, I mean the letter in this case x. So that's the key point here. So, let's think about what's happening to x here. It was multiplied by 2, because 2x means x multiplied by 2. Then we added 3. And we want to retrace our steps. The last thing we did was to add 3. So we want to undo the last thing done to x. So we want to undo that add 3. So we've therefore got to do the opposite of add 3, which is subtracting 3. The opposite of adding is subtracting. And as I said earlier, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do the same to the other. So we're going to subtract 3 from the other side of the equation to keep it balanced. So subtracting 3 from the left-hand side gets rid of that plus 3. So we're just left with 2x. The plus 3 is gone. And on the right-hand side of the equals, 13 minus 3 is 10. And we're gradually getting a simpler and simpler equation. Now let's think about the last thing done to the variable, x was multiplied by 2. So we want to undo that last thing, we want to undo the multiplied by 2. What's the opposite of times by 2? Dividing by 2. So we're going to divide each side of the equation by 2. I like to put what I'm doing just on the side of these arrows here. So dividing this by 2 gets rid of the times by 2, and we're just left with x. And 10 divided by 2 is just 5. And that's the final solution. We could check our answer, because if we use that value of x as 5 and put it back into, to substitute it into the original equation, 2 times 5 is 10. 10 plus 3 is 13. That works. Now let's do the same with this equation here. And note, by the way, that the variable, the letter, the y here, is on the right-hand side of the equation. That doesn't really make any difference when we solve it. We still think, what was the last thing done to the variable? Well, y was multiplied by 3, then we subtracted 4 from it. The last thing we did to y was to subtract 4. So we need to do the opposite and add 4 to each side of the equation. So if we add 4, on the right-hand side of the equation, the plus 4 cancels out the minus 4, leaving 3y. And 17 plus 4 is 21. Now, y is being multiplied by 3. We want to undo the last thing done to the variable. So the opposite of timesing by 3 is dividing by 3. 21 divided by 3 is 7. And 3y divided by 3, the divide by 3 cancels out the times by 3, leaving just y. So the solution is that y is equal to 7. If you prefer, you can put the y on the left and say y equals 7 like that. But that's a completely acceptable answer.